Hey ladies and gents, I've got a really interesting story for you guys that may involve a ghostly encounter. We are in San Francisco. It is super freaking windy. I don't know if you guys can hear it or if you guys can tell, but behind me is the hostel I'll be staying at for the night. I've never been really nervous about my roommates. The room is so tiny, but we'll see what happens. What I really like about this hostel is behind it is a view of the bay and the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge right over there. How cool is that? There is a trail in the back of this hostel that leads down to the water. The view of the Golden Gate Bridge, the bay, too perfect of a view. And down the road and it leads to it looks like a pier where people are riding their bike down. Will you look at that? There's a beach right here. This is the Gurudeli, Gurudeli sign overlooking this beautiful park, which overlooks this beautiful waterfront. All of these people waiting. Yeah. They're waiting because it's the line to hop onto the cable car that goes up the hills of San Francisco. That car right there is called a Waymo and it's driverless. No one's in there driving the car. How it's gonna go with all these pedestrians walking right in front of it. I just wanna see it cross this intersection without hitting anybody. Oh, here it goes. It's going. It's going. Dude, it just did it. No one's driving that car. It just did it. Let's look inside this car. No one's inside of it. Dude, no one's inside this car. It knows when to stop, when to go. How insane is that? <laughs> That's insane. After stopping, recording, looking, doing the same thing over and over, I eventually got to Alcatraz Ferry. Nope, that's parking. Okay, here we go. Pier 33, Alcatraz landing ahead. Getting close, getting close. And we've only got about 15 or more minutes. We're inside or beyond the ticket booth and Looks like this is the waiting area. And you guys can see there are two ferries on the left and the right. People boarding, I think. Oh, I think that's us. Let's go. 5.55 p.m. That is us. Here we go. Alcatraz City Cruises. Got some uh, front row seats, it looks like. Whoa. It feels weird boarding the boat, the ferry, you can feel the ship swaying left and right. And here we are, the front view. Nice. Riding the ferry from San Francisco to Alcatraz. One of the coolest experiences, I gotta say. This is so cool. It feels like a scene out of Jurassic Park. It's like an island with dinosaurs waiting for us. Alcatraz with San Francisco to the right. I think this is part of the tour is that they do a full circle around the island before landing. Giving us a 360 view. There's this weird thing I thought, which was graffiti on the building. It said native land or something like that. There was an occupation on the island back in the early 1970s by Native American Indians. It really does feel like a scene out of Jurassic Park with the abandoned buildings. We've arrived on the island and yes, there is a restroom. I was wondering if there was or not. 
course, there has to be, right? I changed my outfit from shorts to pants and a jacket, no more tank top, just because that's what they said online. And you can feel it by how windy it is here. And being so close to the water, it's just really cold. Ah, dude, let's go explore. It is 6.34. The ferry has left with the people departing. I was in the restroom for a bit changing and it looks like everybody left to explore on the island. So lagging behind a bit. Let's go see what everyone's up to. From uh, what I read online, we can leave on any ferry. I think there are three more that come here at night. Um, I plan to take the 925 ferry back to San Francisco. So gonna be out here late. I just wanna feel how spooky it is on the island. Um, kind of feeling it already with no one around. Oh man, you guys, I'm so excited for how this place is gonna look like at night. I don't know what to expect. And I think I lost my group. Oh no, where is everybody? Looks like this is a little tram that takes passengers up to the top of this hill that may not be able to make it up to the top because it is kind of steep. Oh, I do see people. All right, not alone. Really, look at that. It looks like they're giving a audio tour on a boat. We came from behind those buildings, around the corner of that building up ahead, up this hill, to where we get this view of, I think they call it the cell house the prison on top of the hill with that lookout tower or is it a lighthouse let's go see I'm imagining at night looking through those windows and seeing something on the other side um, the spookiness is coming out as the Sun goes down some parts of the island are blocked off got some stairs going straight up but of course it's blocked off. We got some signs. Cell house audio tour to the right. Where is everybody? Okay, guys. Waited quite a bit for the sun to go down to get the mood going to make this place a bit more spooky. And it looks like it's about that time. Let's go inside. Cell house entrance, main prison. Once you enter, it's pretty optional to grab the audio device that's connected to headphones. That'll tell you some history about the prison itself. Totally optional, not required. So you can just kind of just do a self tour and walk up yourself. Given the headphones, an audio player. I guess I just follow it to get the audio tour down. First time in a prison and it's just so strange that there are three floors and just thinking that they're all, they were all packed at one point and just people living in these small little cells and your neighbor is right above you and below you. What an experience, I bet. Caged windows, maximum security. Check out the cell with a bed. Mattress still inside. This person got a comfy room. It is 8.24. Not many people left doing the tour in the prison just because they left on the ferry or they're outside. So it's a little bit creepy walking down these hallways now. Going into the cutoff. Sucks that they close parts of the prison off from visitors. Because you gotta imagine what's waiting up there. 
that's not allowed for us to view. Oh my god. No one else is in this room. I'm alone. Oh, it's so spooky. It's so eerie. Just imagining something in one of these cells behind me. Pulling me. Tugging me against it. <laughs> okay, getting carried away, but yeah, it's pretty freaky when you're in the prison room all alone and it's just dark and the room is so creepy. Imagine staying in one of these cells all alone on this island. That'd be so freaky. I would not do it. Nope. No. No way. We can actually go in here and there's no one else around me. Yeah, there's no one else around me. And this prison, one, two, there's like seven of them. They're open. Oh my God. Uh, do I use my phone to light it up? Oh, this is creepy. Oh, no way. Yeah, just being in here with the echo, no one else. Talking besides me is just so eerie. What the heck? It's so creepy in here. If I turn on the light. Wow. That's so creepy. That's so cool though that they let you do this. That was too funny. I just walked out of the room as somebody was walking past the cell door and I pooped him. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, being able to walk into these cell doors or cell rooms alone without anybody around has to be... Did the light just flicker? What? I just said, there's a light bulb right behind me and I said nobody's around. I think it flickered. Has to be. Has to be. Has. To be. That was creepy. I think that light bulb just flickered when I said no one else is in this room with me. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay, I'm leaving it. Oh, wow. That was a trip. Okay, next room. The last ferry leaves at 9.25, so I gotta make sure I look at the time so I don't, I'm not stranded on this haunted prison island. It's funny how they name the halls different streets. This one's CD Street. And there are three other ones down here. This one's Broadway. Something that would have been really creepy now that I think about it is if they had put mannequins inside the cells or like fake people, dolls. It would have been so creepy, you know, in the inmate wardrobe, in the orange suit, or maybe even, I don't know. Oh, so cool, this place. It's just something. Normally, you don't see very often. They stop people from climbing this ladder to get to the other blocks or the other floors by putting like some kind of plexiglass or plastic so people can't climb the ladder. Once you're done with the inside of the prison, you get to the back and there's really not very many structures to see. You do see the lighthouse right above you, but what stood out were the night views of the city. That was the best part. Have you ever jaywalked? Uh, maybe. All right, that was it. Heading back down. They're kicking everybody out of the cell house. I literally am in the last of the line, the last person. At about 9, 10. Hey guys. 
time to leave the prison. Lights shut off at this time. Shoo, get out of here. And I was like, dang it. It was getting so fun because there were a handful of people left roaming the halls of the prison. It just felt so fun to just walk around the cells and kind of spook myself. It is 9.24 and the last ferry has arrived. They kicked us out of the prison around 9.10. The last ferry that came to pick us up is a different one than the one that we got on at first. This one has an open top, which is really cool. I was wondering, do these guys stay, sleep on the island? And of course, yeah, what are they gonna do? Get on a boat, leave, come back in the morning? They probably do stay in some building. They sleep on this island, the National Park Service employees, which is interesting because I bet, I don't know about all of them, but I'm sure there are people, employees that have creepy stories about staying on the island. <laughs> that was my experience on Alcatraz Island. Super creepy having felt that weird experience of the light bulb flickering. I don't know what to make of it. Was it really a paranormal experience or was the light bulb being finicky? But for it to be finicky at the exact time I had said what I said will forever be the strangest thing I've experienced. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye!